morning everyone, this is Rocco coming at you with my fourth 11.3.3 drive. We are doing our test route one, I don't think we've done in quite some time. And so we are going to see how that does this morning. We are having to wait the same thing every single time we enable with version 11. We're having to wait for something with the cameras. Um, so I'm going to wait for that to show up. There we go. If I, can, if I can time it just right for that to show up, that means I have a um, chance of enabling it. But this is going to give us a chance of a zero disengagement drive. There's one main spot, or two main spots on this route that will potentially have an issue. Good, getting on through that again. I still think it should just not bother speeding up to 45 right there. But that might just be my personal preference. So you can see it's slowing down a lot right here. For some reason, I'm pressing the accelerator to keep it from slowing down. It shouldn't almost for any reason slow down getting onto the highway. So I'm gonna t tell it to turn the blinker on right here, and it still doesn't get over. This really needs to be improved. The problem is. Uh, if I left that blinker on, I turned the blinker off. If I left it on, it would have kept on getting over into the other lane. And I don't know why it, it does that. I don't know if that's just because our roads are different here in North Carolina than California and the developers only <laughs> look in California. I'm not really sure. But um, it's something that, to, at least from my point of view, just doesn't work well and it just really needs to be improved. I am not, maybe maybe the next version that will be improved, and we'll, we'll find out. exit. I don't expect it to be any better. No, like it turned on the left blinker again, so I had nothing to do with the trailer. Okay, so that was better. Actually, that was better. And I think it's because I turned on the blinker. I, I corrected it. It turned on the left blinker to get off the right exit. I uh, Hopefully that is corrected in the next major release, because that could potentially cause an accident. Uh, if someone's the, it's not paying attention, you're supposed to be paying attention, right, all the time. But if you're not paying attention, and the car decides to take a, um, you know, turn on the left blinker, get in the left lane, and you're like expecting to get off the right exit, and all of a sudden you s swerve and get off, I mean, it's your fault for swerving, but that could very much cause an accident because it's doing something completely unexpected. Also, this seems to be the first version in a long time that has not... Huh, so, I was about to say I had to press the accelerator to keep it going. So, we the, road, the turn we just passed, um, it wants to route all the way the back way, which is maybe like 30 seconds quicker, but it's just a far less pleasant way to go um, through town because there's so many stops and so many turns and so many it's like railroad tracks you have to go over and it's just nowhere near as pleasant maybe maybe it can save time if you're in a mega rush and you just you know want to be super inefficient and accelerate up to every stop etc etc 
uh, this way it's just so much more pleasant to go through town because you're just it's just uh, you're staying on the main road the whole way basically it's like taking the highway versus taking back roads okay so here's where it needs to slow down as soon as you get to this reduced speed ahead it should be going no more than 40 and then as soon as it hits the bridge, it should really be going no more than 35. And then as soon as it's up to this light, it needs to be going 20 mile an hour. Or that's the speed limit, I would go 25. But since now it actually will slow down in an appropriate amount of time by its flicking the wheel, it, it does it so much better than it did in the past. This is gonna kinda be the new, like, this turn, I don't know if I've done on version 11, maybe? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, but there's gonna be a few new things uh, to test. Uh, I guess we, with the trailer we might have done, we did this route, maybe. Uh, no, we did the back route with the trailer. But um, we've done the main major turn up ahead with the trailer. Uh, and that unfortunately disengaged and we'll see without if and maybe a little bit less traffic if it won't disengage up there And so we need to go ahead and already get over like I'm gonna get over as soon as we're past this light right here It needs to get behind this car and in this lane Because they, they did this with the trailer last time I waited all the way up until like right before the turn and then got over It needs to get in this lane really far ahead it used to always do that, and for some reason with version 11, it seems to not do that anymore. And also, when you get all the way in the far left, I'm gonna die in this hill, when you get in the far left lane right here. That's smoother to a stop with the blinking yellow, and so it really needs to wait, unless it's just gonna, like, oh. Okay, well now we're, probably should have gone, um, but I'm gonna let it do its thing. Okay, so I didn't do anything to, to start this. It, no. Didn't choose correct lane going through intersection. Unfortunately, that um, was a disengagement and I had to take over. Um, it, that's a downgrade in version 11. Uh, I'm pretty sure the 10 series was getting that correct. And now it's downgraded again going through that intersection. And the lines are better, I believe. I think they repainted the lines. Um, they just can't get through that intersection correctly. Okay, so it barely missed that pothole right there. Um, I almost disengaged because of that. I should have pressed the camera button, but I think it's a little bit late at this point. But um, those type of things will, like, it really needs to look at those things in the road. Uh, if this current system can't do that, it's going to be hard to trust it uh, without just, like, accepting the fact you're probably going to run into a pothole and destroy your suspension or blow out a tire or dent a rim. Or something like it just seems seems inevitable if you're not gonna pay attention that that's gonna happen like if this becomes a level 3 system it, and, it, and it can't avoid potholes then you're, you're gonna have a bad day eventually it's going, going to happen ever since they painted this the lines right here this inter this um particular spot has been like nailed it nails it every single time So we never, we don't have an opportunity to see if version 11 would have fixed it if with the poor, poorly painted lines, if that would have fixed that issue. Regardless, every version since they painted it has been doing it great. Now going through here has also been smoother though. It, okay, so that's good. Um, it got into the turn lane at an appropriate time. It should wait here unless it's gonna go all the way through. Okay, that was good. And then it proceeds, excellent. That's what we want to see. Okay. So that's going to be the end of this drive, everyone. Um, if you have questions for me, put them down below. 
and we will uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.